Ajax is a very important tool in any web application development. Here, now we are going to use the Ajax in the AngularJS as well. So, in this particular video, we'll see what Ajax is all about and how we can use it in AngularJS. Alright, so here we'll perform the JSON data read operation through Ajax. But before getting into that, let's see what Ajax is all about. So, the full form of Ajax is asynchronous JavaScript and XML. As the name says, it performs the asynchronous activity that simply will increase the performance and these are uh, internally it uses XML and JavaScript in the definition. Here when we talk about that it enhances the performance how it does that basically it first of all it does all the things asynchronous and for doing the bigger operations as well it doesn't let your page to be reloaded all right. So this is how it can help us in increasing the performance of any web page this is independent of any particular technology that you can implement the Ajax in ASP.NET, MVC, PHP, Java, here in AngularJS as well. Alright, so let's see how Ajax is going to help us in AngularJS, like what all it is going to provide me. So first of all, as we said, like here, we'll get a service called HTTP. And this HTTP service provided by the Ajax will help us in loading the data from the server. And whatever data we will store here, that will be in JSON format. Alright, so that maybe, maybe you are getting this data from the, uh, directly from the file or maybe through any web service. Alright, but yes, the data must be in the JSON format and we will see how we can read that using the HTTP service. Now here you can see if you are not familiar you can see this is how a JSON file looks like alright. So this is nothing but a JavaScript object alright JSON stands for JavaScript object notation. So inside this you can see there is an object alright this is nothing but a JavaScript object. First name, last name, gender, salary these are the four properties out here and we simply made the array of such JavaScript objects and we will keep it in a file with an extension called JSON alright and once we are done with that we can see like how we can read it using the dollar HTTP which is nothing but a service provided by Ajax in AngularJS. So here we have a method called get in which we'll, we can pass the URL as you can see data records.json is a, a path which we can pass here. On the successful read operation we can see how we can transfer the data from controller to the view and we'll do it now in the practical implementation. Alright, so here in this example, we'll see how can we read this JSON file using AngularJS Ajax. So first of all, I have created a JSON file in which I have created the array of JavaScript objects. Uh, first name, last name, gender and salary. These are the four properties that we are, have created and with some number of records. Now, this file is located inside the data folder as records.json. Now, I'll do the read operation in the script.js, which is right here. So, first of all, I have created the module, my module, the controller with the name data controller. After that, we have taken the path like data slash records dot json. So, this is the URL of my file, which I want to read. Now, I'll use the HTTP service right here. All right. So far, we have only used the scope service to pass the value from the controller to the view. But now, since we are required to read the value from the JSON file, we will use the HTTP service. So this HTTP service will provide us a method called get in which we will pass the URL, means this particular path. So as soon as we will be done, the success method will actually call a callback function, which will pass the red information in the object called employees. This object employees is a part of your scope service. All right. So when you will be done reading the data uh, records from the JSON file, the success method would be invoked. And here you can see the callback function here. It will just send the value in the response that is in the argument and will pass it through the employees object. And right here in this index.html, we have used the same 
uh, way as we have already done, right? Nothing fancy out here. We have used the my module, module name, data controller, the controller name, and we have already done, went through like how we can print the data using ng repeat and all the required uh, filters, right? So we are not using anything to search here, so we can simply remove that as well, all right? But the data would be in the sorted order, in descending order by salary, first name in uppercase, last name is lower in lowercase, and currency with the particular symbol. All right. So let's execute to see whether we are done successfully or not. Yes, as you can see, I am done with reading the data from the JSON file using the HTTP service for AJAX. So this is how you can do such things by a JSON file.